Hi everyone, today we're going to learn on how to construct a frequency distribution from a row score. Let us have an example of a row score from a 30 students who took the final quiz in mathematics in the modern world as shown below. So, we're going to convert these row scores into a two-column frequency distribution as like this. A frequency distribution was divided into two parts, the class limits or class interval, and the other side is the frequency or small letter f. So let us go back with the row score as I already presented that the row score in a descending order as to 40 would be the highest value and the lowest value is 10 which are essential numbers to determine the range later. So right now we're going to determine the different terms when we're talking about frequency distribution. So when we talk about class limits or intervals such as 10 to 15, these are the range or the width from the lower lim limit to the upper limit as 10 to 15, 16 to 21, 22 to 27, down to 40 to 45. That is what we call class limit or class interval. Now if we're going to subtract the lower limit by 0.5 and add it 0.5 to the upper limit, then we are talking about the class boundaries as we have 9.5 to 15.5, which is would be the class boundaries. So when you say class boundaries, there are half points that separate the classes. Now, if we're going to add the, the lower limit and the upper limit, such as 10 plus 15 is 25, then get the half of it, which is 12.5, then we're talking about the class mark or class midpoint. In short, class mark or class midpoint is the average of the lower limit and the upper limit. Now, if we're going to count individually from lower limit to upper limit as 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, then we are talking about the class size. Now, when we talk about the number of row scores falls from that range or class interval or class limits, then we are talking about the frequency, denoted as letter F. And if we're going to count all the frequency, we are talking about the total number of population, which is denoted as capital N. In this case, the total number of population is 30. So right now, let's start to solve or to construct a frequency distribution. First, what is class size, which is denoted as small letter i? So, as I mentioned earlier, we can easily find the class size by counting it individually from the lower limit to the upper limit as 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, if we count it, we have 6. So, the number of class size is 6. In what way we're going to solve it using the frequency distribution? Simply, just subtract the upper limit to the lower limit, then add by 1. Example, 15 minus 10 is 5, plus 1 is 6. The same as on the other rows. Example, 34 to 39. So, 39 minus 34 is 5, plus 1 is 6. So, this is the way how we solve the class size or small i when the given is already in the frequency distribution. But, what if the given is not in the frequency distribution but rather in a row score? So, let us have to know on how to solve class size or small i when the given is in a row score. Okay, let us have this process. Number one is, of course, we're going to know the formula. I equals R over K. Then second, we're going to identify the different terms. So R, R means range. And how we are going to solve the R or the range? The range is the highest value minus the lowest value. So in our given row score, the highest is 40, the lowest is 10. Subtract them, we got 30. So the, the range is 30. Now how about K? When we say K, 
it is the estimate number of class of the given data. So, how are we going to solve the K? Let us have the formula. K equals 1 plus 3 times logarithm or log times capital N or total number of population. So, how are we going to solve the total number of population? Okay, we have 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 5, I, just, just multiply them 6 times 5 that is 30 so do the substitution we have now 3 times logarithm times the total number of population is 30 then we're going to get the log of 30 into the nearest hundreds so we have 1.48 multiply them then we have 4.44 44 rather add we have 5.44 Rounded off to the nearest tens, since 4 is less than 5, then we retain 5. So right now, we're able to get the range as 30 and the K is 5. Then we're able to solve the class size when the given is in the row score. Okay, so let us bring down the formula. R is 30, K is 5, substitution. Then 30 divided 5 is 6. We have the same class size as we solve the frequency distribution or the data in a row score. Okay, third, how to fill in the class limits or class interval. So remember that the class size is 6. Then we're going to arrange or we're going to organize the class frequency distribution from the lowest to the highest value. So in this case, we have 10 as the lowest. Then simply apply the class size, which is 6. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So therefore, 10 to 15 would be the first row like that. Next is after 15 is 16. So if you try to observe 15 to 10 or 10 to 15 is has a 5. Okay, just add 5. So 16 plus 5 becomes 21. Then after 21 is 22. So 22 plus 5, we have 27. 28 plus 5, 33. 34 plus 5, 39. Then, since the highest value is 40, make it sure that the class limit or class interval you made must include all the given row scores, included the highest value, which is 40. So we have 40 to 45. So that is how we fill in the class limits or class interval. Fourth, let us try to get the frequency on the given class limits. So 10 to 15, how are we able to find the frequency? Remember that the frequency means the number of scores fall in the class limit. Okay, so here, 10 to 15. So we have 10 here, so we count it individually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Therefore, 10 to 15 class limit has a frequency of 8. The same process, 16 to 21, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then we put it here as 6. 20 to 27, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we put it here, 5. 28 to 33, 28, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We put here as 7. And 34 to 39, 1, 2. Put it here, 2. Last but not the least is 40 to 45. We have 1, 2. So we have 2. If we add them all, then we're able to get the total number of population, which is 30. So right now, this is how we get the frequency. Okay, so let us have the row scores to the frequency distribution. The row score can be arranged in a descending or ascending order. Then the frequency distribution can also be arranged in ascending or descending class limits or class interval. Okay, I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you and God bless everyone.